good morning. We're here at Burton Constable. Oh, Ari's in. Ari's lure fishing, and uh, first cast he's had a fish, second cast he's got another fish. What is it, perch? Oh, little pike. Was that on spinner? Yeah. Unbelievable. Was that your second cast as well? I mean, that is tiny, but. <laughs> Two fish in literally three or four minutes. Right, back to the intro. As I was saying, we're at a very wet Burton Constable today. Uh, <clears throat> the forecast was supposed to be warm, overcast, and it's been heaving it down since about 10 o'clock last night. So, yeah, go figure. Didn't bring the shelter because we're hardcore. <sighs> I'll be fishing a sprat, a smell, and just for shits and giggles, I brought a little feeder rod and I'm uh, fishing two pieces of corn on a little helicopter rig just down there in front of the rushes you never know I might get a bite right I'll get these set up and get them cast out and get back to you if anything happens I'm fishing on dead bait float today I don't know if you can see them there's one there there's one there and I've got me double corn just past these rushes here <coughs> got the usual setup got a pair of Daiwa two pound test curve 10 foot rods because I'm not casting far so I don't need massive test curve got the phase one Corum 10 foot feeder rod And I don't know if you can hear it, that water's running down here again in this little gully. Um, it's actually not so, I mean, it, it's, the water's cloudy, but it's not terrible. Along the edges where it's running in, it's, it's like thick chocolate. Oh, right, we'll see how it goes anyway. Soaking wet. I didn't bring a shower because it said it was a light shower this morning at 6 o'clock. Now 8 o'clock and it's still raining. Now new there, is it? Because I thought by the time we got here it would have been done and dusted. Did you get them two down the edge? Uh, that's not a bad start for him. That'll cheer the lad up. Very first cast, a little fish. Probably two pounds. And then third or fourth cast, he had another tiny one. But it's all, all action. Right. I'm going to have a coffee. I'll probably give it about four hours today. Uh, fish up till about 12, half 12. Because when I get home, I've got a Sunday lunch to prepare. So I don't want to leave it too late. I was, the missus will be a bit miffed at me. Um... I don't know if it's I mean it's perfect conditions today besides the colour of the water it's warm it's about 11 degrees hardly any breeze whatsoever a little 
south westerly I think it is I'll just be glad to see the back of this rain it's completely ruined the full piking season I haven't been able to get on the drain at all I looked this morning it's a metre and a half up over over top level normal level so the pegs we would fish are three foot underwater uh, I had a look yesterday and the water's literally touching the the bottom of the bridge the road bridge so and we've only got less than a month before the end of the pike season so I really can't see us getting on there and talk about coloured it's thick chocolate brown but hey ho Harry's having a bit of fun like I said he's on the lure rod he's going to have a walk around but it's nice to be out I mean, it, it's not too far for me to come here. It's it's only just over five miles on on the bike. Oh, lovely bird just gone past. Loads of ducks on today, but uh, when it's chucking it down like this, it, it's not brilliant on the old push bike. I was going to go to Brands Burton, but nah. <laughs> Just thought I'd opt out for this one. It's a little bit closer. It's 20 minutes for me on bike. Whereas Brands Burton, it's about 11 and a half mile. Nearly an hour. I mean, as it is, I'm I've got waterproofs on and I'm soaking wet because these aren't brilliant. They're showerproof, not stormproof. And like I said, it was supposed to be light drizzle about 6 o'clock this morning. And it heaved down all night last night from about 7 o'clock on the evening. I let the cats out at R5. And it was still raining then. But what can you do? You've got to be in it to win it. If you don't come out, you're not going to catch. I mean, I could have a nice chill out day, sit on a computer and do some editing or play a game, but I'm not going to catch any fish, am I? I mean, it's not likely I'm going to catch any fish anyway today with the conditions, but you've got to try. I managed to winkle one out last week. Only little, but... It's like I said before just getting a small little fish is a win for me it's been that bad this year I mean it'd be nice to have a day like October when we went up to Brands Burton we had a day I think we had 16 takes oh brilliant fun but that seems like a long time ago now The two uh, pike floats, I'm literally just tripping bottom, I'm fishing about four foot deep. <laughs> so when there is a little breeze, they will move slightly. <coughs> Hopefully entice anything. I haven't bothered injecting any oils so far, but I might do. We'll see. Like I said, I'm only here for a few hours. But it's nice to show the the good and the bad. When you're catching, it's nice to put a video up. But also, everyone else seems to be doing it when they're not catching. I haven't bothered, really. Because um, to me, it seems pointless putting a 20 minute video up of not catching anything but then again it shows the other side doesn't it it shows normality not everybody catches every time they're out uh, right 
I'm going to have a coffee. Uh, once they get warmed up, because it ain't going to happen. And if anything happens, I'll get back in touch. And don't forget, if you like the videos and you want to see more, please hit that like button, subscribe. I'm just short of 475 subs now. So the target will be 500 and then 1,000. And then I'll have the magic thingy where I can get monetized hopefully but I can't see that happening but hey ho I really do enjoy putting the videos out for for everyone to watch it, it's nice especially when you bump into somebody who watches them I was at Willow's last weekend I think it was and I bumped into a, a guy and his girlfriend who said they watched the videos and they was watching a video of me fishing Willow's and they enjoyed it and they went and bought a Holland District ticket to start fishing willows so I was super super chuffed makes you feel really good when somebody gives you really good feedback I mean not everyone's gonna like my style I don't do all the b-roll and stuff like that I probably should but I haven't got a clue what I'm doing really with the video editing, I just do what I can. Right, I'll stop waffling and get back to you soon hopefully. Well it's just gone half nine. Still haven't had a touch yet. I've uh, recast the, the rods. I've put one down, the little one with Sprat down in front of the reeds and I put another one a little bit further out and then my feeder rod on a helicopter rig I've dropped just past the end of that tree I've hair rigged uh, some bread you never know I might get a bite I doubt it but you can try. Harry's still on the lures. He's had a a couple what he's missed. He had a couple out, so you never know. Right, time for a coffee. And I'll check in with you if anything happens. Well, it's eleven o'clock. I've just had a, a recast. Uh, nothing yet Harry's gone down by the bridge with the lures I've put worm on my ledger rod I've hair rigged it under the tree just down here see if I can maybe get a perch I know it's absolutely crawling with perch but at the minute I ain't had a bite give it I think another half hour 45 minutes and if nothing happens I'm gonna pack up and get home and start the Sunday dinner <laughs> 